This is the Benshi Wired Headphones, model number BSX6, the guitar series. Now inside the box, not only do you get the headphones, but you get a nice polishing cloth. Get a thank you card from the company. And on the back of that is your customer service information. You get an email address and two phone numbers. You also get a nice instruction pamphlet, all in English, at least mine are in English. They are easy to read and understand. And on the back, you do get the warranty information. You get two pouches. One has the Benchy branding and logo. They sewn in a nice little tag with, this, with their name on it. It's a very, very nice soft almost velour feel to the bag on the outside and on the inside it's more of a microfiber type feel to it it is a drawstring bag as you can see and that's to carry your headphones in because as you can see they do fold up the second pouch which is made out of the same material you do get two audio cables and one thing that I do like is this. You get an adapter. You plug in your audio cable to 3.5 millimeter plug into here. And if you have an older style type stereo system that uses a quarter inch jack, you can now use it. Very, very nice. Each cable does have on one end an angled plug and a straight plug which is 3.5 millimeters and they are gold plated and they do come with these as like a little rubber type protector for shipping really nice it is nicely braided so it's not like a, your typical rubber or plastic type rubber covering. It's a nice braided cable. And you get cable ties on each one. The only drawback with the cable ties is they're not attached. So what I'm going to do is loop it over, get some glue, and maybe even a needle and thread. Make a loop so I'll never lose the cable tie. One cable is 1.2 meters long or 3.9 feet. The other cable is like about three inches bigger. It's slightly bigger, not that much, but still. Now, you do get on the controller, these two outer buttons here, which have that nice click to it, are your volume controls. The middle button is your multifunction button. That's the player pause, the, the track you're listening to. If you double click it, it skips to the next track. That's also how you take your calls or end them is by pressing that button. On the back, the little tiny pinhole microphone. And taking and making calls on these are fantastic. Listening to the person talk to me on the phone was nice and crystal clear. They heard me nice and fine. No muffled noise or anything except, well, when it was windy, they kind of said, it, you know, the wind noise. But can't really get rid of that now, can you? Now, let's take a closer look at the headphones. Let's start on the top. Has this nice, I'm going to call it pleather finish to it or covering with the Binshi logo and name. It's very nice and soft to the touch, almost like a chamois feel. And on the top, there's a, a pretty good amount of padding in here. And if you notice, it is perforated. That's to help cut down on the sweat. On both sides, you're going to get a little figure here with a guy with a guitar in his hand. Well, that's where that name comes from. 
You do get the logo here from Binshi and their name on both sides. The ear cups are mainly made out of plastic, but like this nice little brushed aluminum look is actually feels like a metal aluminum insert that they put in here. And it feels really nice. I like the matte and brushed finish that it gives. So it's not a fingerprint magnet. The holders or the Y brackets themselves are made out of metal. That's where this comes in. So if you get them dirty, you can polish them nice and clean. The ratcheting mechanism is made out of metal and it's pretty, pretty tight. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is pretty tight. So it will hold it in place. They only swivel up and down. They do not move side to side. As you see on the other side, it's the same exact thing. They are labeled on the inside here. Just underneath the Binchy name, you're going to have a left or right imprinted on it to tell you which side you should put them on your head. But I guess it really doesn't matter. The cables coming out to the speaker is also braided in that really nice braided material that's on your cable, your audio cable. The padding here has that same type of pleather feel to it where it's really nice and soft, like I said, like a chamois type soft. On the inside, they do use 41 and a half millimeter drivers. The frequency range is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. It's a pretty good wide range of frequency there. On the bottom, you're going to notice you have ports on both cups. Well, that's simple. If you prefer listening or having your device on your left hand side, you plug your audio cable in on left hand side. If you want to have your device on your right hand side, you plug it in here. Very nice, very versatile. Right here on the hinge, which is also made of metal, you will see that there is the Benchy logo. I do love this nice chrome accent they threw in here as well. They will look really, really nice. Now on to the sound. The bass in these are very deep, warm, and rich. What I mean by that is you do get that nice satisfying thump from the bass in the music. Now I tested these with everything from oldies to a heavy metal to easy listening to the blues to even some rap songs and some funk even classical music not once did the low end or the bass frequency get muddy it like i said it was nice deep rich but yet clean there was no muffled noise there was no muddiness in that nice low end the mid-range punched through very easily through the mix. Um, you can easily hear all the accents like the cymbal hits from the hi-hats, the snare, even to the hammer hitting the skin of the bass drum. You can actually hear that. The vocals came out nice and crystal clear. There was no muddiness, no muffled voices, nothing. You heard everything perfectly. The high end or the treble on these was really clean and sharp. There was no high pitched squealing or hissing from the high end. When someone in the singing high notes, it didn't come up and start shrieking in your ear or like during a guitar solo when they're really going up high on the neck or higher up in the notes. It didn't pierce your eardrums. It was a very well balanced high end. Now, when I tested these, I tested these on three different devices. My Lumia 640, my iPod Touch 5, and my Nexus 7. Now, also, it does depend upon which device you're using. Volume and the mix may vary a little bit. Like my Lumia 640, I can somewhat adjust the equalization, 
but naturally it's a little bit bassier than say my iPod. My iPod does tend to run a little bit more on the neutral equalization, meaning it's pretty much flat. And it, it, but it is a tiny bit louder than my Lumia 640. Now the tablet, the Nexus 7, it has about the same amount of volume as my Lumia 640. And it, the, the sound of it is about the same as the iPod where the, e, the natural EQ is set right there in the center. So you do have to keep that in mind. So if you switch a couple different devices around, you might notice a slight difference in the sound coming out. And that goes for any headphones, that goes for any earphones. When I turned the volume down, almost off, if you will, the mix stayed the same. The bass was strong and really rich and warm. The mid-tones really punched through and the high end just basically topped it all off and made it sound very well rounded. When I turned the volume up all the way on each one of the devices, I did not hear any distortion. There wasn't any hissing coming out. And the mix stayed the same. Sometimes on, with some headphones or earphones, when you turn the volume up all the way, a lot of the times the manufacturers have it where the mid-range, the high-end, or both actually kind of drown out the bass. These do not. The mix actually stays the same all the way through. I was pretty impressed with that. One thing I do want to mention. These did not creak or crack or anything when I had them on my head. The tension in the headband, it's just enough to keep them on your head. But even after, it, actually I had them on my head for nine hours, my ears did not get sweaty, nor did the tension cause my head to hurt or my, even my ears. Because, you know, sometimes this part here, the cuff may press on your ear. That didn't do it for me. These are very comfortable. After probably about the third song, I didn't even notice I was wearing them anymore. I was just enjoying the music that was coming out of these. So if you definitely want a really, really good audio listening experience and not pay a couple hundred bucks, you might want to look into the Binshi brand. The, this model here, the BSX6, the guitar version, awesome headphones. These really impressed me. I've listened to a lot of headphones. I have a good couple high-end pair from Sony. These are just about as good as the very high-end pair that I have from Sony. So, would I recommend these? Yes, I would. Hope this helped.